Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team, team of developers who work with Laravel and also educate the market and educate fellow developers. Today I will run through uh, an article I've written on Quick Admin Panel blog, but it's not about Quick Admin Panel, it's about multi-language. So uh, if you have a form like this one, so you have article with title and full text and you want to transform that into this. So multi-language, so you would click English or Spanish and you would have both fields uh, in English or in Spanish. And for that, you can use uh, a package. And that article actually is quite old from 2018, but I've updated it uh, this month uh, because uh, package got updated with new owner. So this is a really, really popular package, lateral translatable. Um, and it was transformed, transferred to other owner, Astrotomic. Not sure about the reasons anyway. And the package itself didn't really change uh, in functionality. But I still updated the article with some new screenshots and uh, instructions. So let's run through that. Imagine you have an article, as I said, article model with two fields, and how to make that multi-languageable. Uh, so you install that package, and then you have to create a specific model for your name, the model name translation. So in our case, article translation. So there was article model, and it still exists, but new article translation model uh, with migration. Inside of that migration, database table should be called uh, uh, something translations. You have ID field, and this is needed by package, so locale, uh, and then foreign key to the main uh, article ID, and then whatever field you want to be translatable. It may be all of the fields, it may be some of the fields, so you need to Maybe some of the fields will be left in the main table, but only some of them will be transformed, transferred, sorry. Uh, so list those fields here. And then you can remove those fields from your main table. And that's notice in caps and in bold, please back up, uh, export your data before dropping those columns because something may go wrong or even write the migration script to to migrate the data from main column if you have the real data to uh, to those fields. So that is not inside of that article. But in general, you can remove those fields from the main table because they will exist in the language table in uh, translations. Uh, and then you don't need those fillables anymore. So if you have that inside of main model, also you can remove that and migrate. The next step is to take care of the models. So in your main model, uh, you should have something related to translatable. So that is the main article model. It should implement translatable contract, also use these. But this is the most important part. You have to have array of actually the fields, title and full text, which is the same as we filled in here. So those two fields should be uh, in translated attributes array. And also the second model, which is translation model, should have those as fillable as well. And that's personal preference. I've removed timestamps because they're kind of irrelevant for translations because timestamps will be in the main uh, table, but you can leave them if you want. Uh, then configuration of the package. This is pretty simple. You publish the vendor and in your config, you may choose what locales you have, what languages. So in our case, it was English and Spanish. Next step is to create the views for managing those translations. And that is pretty individual. I've used the base of quick admin panel here, uh, form. Uh, we don't have that multi-language inside of the generator, but we have the form, which are kind of duplicated. So this is the main form for the title and article full text. So I've duplicated those into English form and Spanish form with bootstrap class Dnon, which is invisible. And then on top of that, list of links of languages, which in our case is EN and ES, and small jQuery code, jQuery snippet to toggle those classes, visible or invisible. Uh, you can do for each, you can do something more complicated. If there, are, if there are more languages, you can use view instead of jQuery, whatever, that's your personal preference. But this is my example, which leads to this one. So list of uh, languages, you click and the form is changed. And uh, the form submits with both uh, languages, with English and Spanish. Now, how do we process that in controller? This is the structure that you have to finish with. So structure should have a array with keys as languages and all the fields listed, the same fields as those translated attributes. And then you can do this. You can do just create and pass article data 
uh, this is the final result what is actually the main benefit of the package if you have those structured in place then you can get any translation of any language by just doing this so main object translate language and then field that you want or even shorter if you have the main language in config app or in app set locale this will give you the this field translated from that language from the active locale you currently have updating the article is also really similar same structure but just article update with eloquent sentence and finally this is the way how you can specify the locale from basically anywhere in your laravel application uh, this is the link to the package with updated owner and i will link both uh, this article and the package inside of the uh, description of the video so hope it was helpful subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos